Minnesota Democratic Governor Mark Dayton today denounced the Republican tax plan in Washington, saying it could cost nearly a million Minnesota taxpayers thousands of dollars. Pat Kessler's here. Pat, no one wants to lose uh, thousands of dollars. Is what the governor is saying yep. true? Yeah, it's a really good question. It is technically true, but it's really misleading. Governor Mark Dayton says it is offensive to eliminate a major Minnesota tax deduction, but business leaders say that's really unfair, that all of this overall might actually help. The Trump tax plan eliminates a major benefit for high-tax states like Minnesota. No more federal deductions for state and local taxes. I strongly urge President Trump and Republicans in Congress to abandon this and other extremely regressive tax proposals. Minnesota's Revenue Department reports almost 900,000 Minnesotans deduct state and local taxes on their 1040 forms and will lose an average of about $12,000 in deductions. Dayton, who's a Democrat, says Minnesotans are paying for tax cuts for the rich. But more is never enough. You know, more is never enough. The people who have so much always want more. But supporters of tax reform say corporate tax cuts in Minnesota will kickstart the economy. For most taxpayers, they're going to see actually a tax reduction. Minnesota's largest business group says taxpayers may lose state and local tax deductions, but the number of tax brackets will shrink. Tax rates will drop, and the standard deduction will double to $24,000, a huge benefit. I think when you're looking at it as totality, it's going to make our system um, fairer, better, and pro-growth. Governor Dayton does not believe a trillion-dollar tax cut will fuel a new economy based on history. It hasn't worked that way. And, and so I, I'm amazed that they can even say with a straight face. Well, Governor Dayton, who's a Democrat, of course, says he's going to ask all three Minnesota Republican congressmen to oppose this part of the tax bill. And that's what Republicans from other high tax states are doing, like New York, California and New Jersey. They're going to oppose it because they are also losing this big tax deduction. Uh, Pat, obviously, it would help a lot if we knew exactly what was in the bill. Yes, it would. Yeah, when does that happen? When do we look at it? Well, you make a good point. It's still not public. All of this has been negotiated behind closed doors. We do expect to see the first public version of it this Wednesday, and Republican leaders want to pass it very quickly after that, maybe make it the first major legislative accomplishment of the year. Uh, time will tell, I guess. Yep. Okay, thank you. You bet.